Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a sneak peek into my planner system setup for 2024. So if you're interested in seeing a pretty in-depth unboxing and lax unboxing of my most recent edition which is this Hobonichi A6 Han, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before I get right into this video, I did of course want to take this quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. And if you enjoy this video, I would very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and making sure you're subscribed. Alrighty, so I've covered this in previous videos, but I just wanted to share with you all my lineup. For 2024. So I'm going to do a more in-depth video on probably each one of these planners, but I am planning on using the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I've actually decided to use that uh, for journaling so that I can share the process with you all. Um, and then I'm planning on using this Hobonichi Weeks Mega for work. I've already started to populate the information in that. And then over here, I also have this very gorgeous, I think it's like a starry night. I can't remember the exact name, but I will link it um, in the description box down below to all of these if I can find it um, for my everyday carry, which is the one I typically share with you all here on Plan With Me videos. And then very lastly, I just ordered this Hobonichi A6 Han. So we're going to do an unboxing of this and do maybe a comparison of the regular Hobonichi A6 from 2023. Alrighty, so I last minute ordered this one because I had mildly regretted not getting, sorry, trying to make sure the other ones don't fall, um, the cousin in this cover. And then I was like, you know, Amazon has it. It's in English and I think it's in English. <laughs> and um, they'll deliver pretty much overnight. So <laughs> that's where I got it. I got this one on Amazon. Um, it did not come from the 1101 site, which means I'm probably missing some of the things like uh, for example, the, the pen and stuff that usually comes with it. And so I'm going to leave this on the side. This is my 23. Um, so we can do a comparison of the two. Uh, my basic understanding is that this one, the HON has a hard cover and it's kind of has like this hard fabric. I don't know. I'm going to give you a nice close up so you can kind of see the texture here. Um, and a very nice design. So I fell in love with this design. Um, I was reading a little bit about it on the 11.1 site. And um, I think the artist was inspired by cherry blossoms, which are um, very common in Japan. <laughs> um, so I love that. And it's very, oops, my goodness, I'm having the hardest time. I'm crawling this. Um, so I'm going to keep this, but I think this shows you the general layout. And of course, it is in English, yay. So it says 24 hour timetable, versatile grid, um, secret line to separate the two pages, a quote each, each day, and a Monday start mini calendar with 12 colored caps. Okay. And I see that it has an insert here, which is very exciting to me. Wow, the table is so cold <laughs> in the winter. This room is like, it's not heat. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I actually haven't had a chance to open this up, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So here's the artist, Tomitaro Makino. I might have probably said that wrong. Was born in Sakawa, rural village. And um, let's see, years later, he launched the botanical magazine Tokyo. Um, and yeah, so botanist inspired by cherry blossoms is my understanding. <laughs> um, all right. And then, oh, these are the Pochito stamps that I've been purchasing. I really like this one. I wish I picked up this one. Do you see this? It has like panda, a uh, rice ball, and I really love the bird. That's my favorite. And the cat. Oh my gosh. I like all of them. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at these cats. It's so funny these animals. I wish I were talented enough to doodle. Maybe um, I will use one of these planners for doodling this year. Okay, enough of that. And then this is really interesting. So I saw this in the picture online. So let's just open it up. It's a writing board I think, with a pen loop, which is very interesting. So I would imagine that means that I don't need a cover for this. I was actually going to try to slip it into here, which I can do later. Um, but I might just not need a cover. Uh, this is how thick it is. I don't know if you can see perspective wise to the grid maybe. <laughs> um, and it has those different colors that it was speaking of in the description. And all right, let's just open her up. Here's the binding 2024, it's just gorgeous. The back is just like a slightly different color. It's like 
um, off-white on the binding in the front and then the back is like a more precise white. Oh, I love this so much. All right, so here's the cover. It says Han. Original. All right, it is definitely an English great. <laughs> like I mentioned, I got this on Amazon, so I was just like, oh, I don't know. Okay, everything's in English. I love that so much. Um, you can see that it's muted. It's just got very pretty color to it, honestly. Um, very similar to this one here. Paper does feel different. I think they updated it, so that's probably why. Loving this. Did it have this, um, like, 2025 here in the monthlies? So I, I didn't use the monthlies, honestly, in this A6 in 20... Ah, see, that is a new thing that they added here, like this, um, like, faded 2025. I love that because it just pops. Look how different they are. Oh, my goodness. Interesting. Very, very interesting. You know, I would say this reminds me, honestly, a lot of the Take a Note, um, which I love the Take a Note, and I regretted not getting it this year, so this is good. Let's see how this has changed. Um, so these are the daily pages, and wow, it looks, it's looking a lot more, I feel like, the cousin, like a mini cousin, um, which I love. So you can see that here, that... Um, I don't know if this is a difference between the Japanese and the English or the Han and the A6, but this is my 23 versus the 24 Han. And um, so over here, just like the cousin, it has one, two, three, four, five um, priority task uh, check boxes on top. Love, love, love that. Very like mild and muted here. I love this so much. It might be the difference between the Han and Oh, okay. <laughs> um, if you know, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below so others know. Um, I just don't have the A6 for 24, so I can't do a direct comparison. And of course, this is English, which is great. And so you have the first month here, which is blank, or sorry, the a page for the month, which is nice and blank here. I love this so much. Okay, let's see what we got in the back. So these are the daily sheets. It's so funny. So I got my husband a cousin. Is that that's such a weird thing to say? I got my cousin a Hobonichi cousin planner uh, for this year. So we both had an A6 for 2023, and I also gave him like all these other notebooks from Baron Fig, um, monk manual. Um, also, I like I had bullet journals from Archer and Olive and things that I shared with him, and I thought that he might benefit from having like consolidating his notes um and into one notebook and I so I asked him I was like hey would you like to try a cousin with me in 24 and he jumped right at the um the opportunity oh my god this is so cute <laughs> and so he was so excited because he's like doesn't it start in December and um I was like you know that's great like can you just double check because I'd love to share that with my viewers like I, I should really I really knew that I needed to post videos about the setup but I was still finishing grad school and he went and checked and he's so disappointed <laughs> that it didn't I don't think he's totally off because my weeks actually does the monthly starts in December so I think um he was just maybe expecting something different but yes yeah, so all of this is in English which is fantastic an interview to myself or with myself love this and I love this graph paper do you guys have any idea of how you plan on using this um this spread here or this one here so the timetable i would imagine is really useful for folks who have reoccurring schedules every week which i don't um so particularly students um i remember when i was in high school even back yeah back in high school i would create these um these schedules for myself and color code them so i knew where i needed to be and um so i wonder perhaps how to use that these days anyways this is basically it um it doesn't have that little like plastic sleeve which i love i guess they traded it for the writing board which is fine um see how it fits in here i typically honestly like to use like postcards from simply gilded um as like page markers sometimes or writing boards too i mean look how easy this is it's the perfect size for the 
uh, A6. So that's really exciting. I honestly don't think that there's much that I need to do in this planner to set up. I feel that way about all of my planners, to be quite honest. Uh, maybe I'm oversimplifying it, um, but I think which, what's interesting is that this one doesn't have a place for me to put all of the holidays. So I'll have to figure out how to incorporate that. I also bought these yellow sleeves that I don't really know how to use. <laughs> are they actually yellow? Um, I think they are. And so maybe I can somehow find a way to utilize these in the planner as well so that I can store things. Maybe do the federal holidays in here or just make a sticker and slap it somewhere. Or actually I can make a sticker and put it on this board and then keep it together. I think that's the winner because look how pretty this is. Um, anyways, friends, I think that's basically it. I am really, really excited. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, this was quite pricey. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I wanna say it was around the range of like 40 50 bucks on amazon but of course uh like everything on amazon the prices fluctuate so definitely go check it out i will link it in the description box down below along with the rest of my lineup for 2024 i'm so interested to hear what you plan on using in 2024 so if you haven't already told me in previous videos feel free to let me know down below thanks so much friends for taking the time to join me today and i hope to see you in our setup videos bye everyone